This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Joy Chan. English Fairy Tales Collected by Joseph Jacobs. Chapter 28 Johnny Cake. Once upon a time there was an old man and an old woman and a little boy. One morning the old woman made a Johnny Cake and put it in the oven to bake. You watch the Johnny Cake while your father and I go out to work in the garden. So the old man and the old woman went out and began to hoe potatoes and left the little boy to tend the oven. But he didn't watch it all the time and all of a sudden he heard a noise and he looked up and the oven door popped open and out of the oven jumped Johnny Cake and went rolling along end over end towards the open door of the house. The little boy ran to shut the door, but Johnny Cake was too quick for him and rolled through the door, down the steps and out into the road long before the little boy could catch him. The little boy ran after him as fast as he could clip it, crying out to his father and mother, who heard the uproar and threw down their hose and gave chase too. But Johnny Cake outran all three a long way and was soon out of sight while they had to sit down, all out of breath, on a bank to rest. On went Johnny Cake, and by and by he came to two well-diggers who looked up from their work and called out, "'Where are you going, Johnny Cake?' he said. "'I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy, and I can outrun you too!' "'You can, can you? We'll see about that,' said they. And they threw down their picks and ran after him, but couldn't catch up with him, and soon they had to sit down by the roadside to rest. On ran Johnny Cake, and by and by he came to two ditch diggers who were digging a ditch. "'Where are you going, Johnny Cake?' said they. He said, "'I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers, and I can outrun you too!' "'You can, can you? We'll see about that,' said they. And they threw down their spades and ran after him too. But Johnny Cake soon outstripped them also and seeing they could never catch him, they gave up the chase and sat down to rest. On went Johnny Cake, and by and by he came to a bear. The bear said, Where are you going, Johnny Cake? He said, I've outrun an old man, and an old woman, and a little boy, and two well diggers, and two ditch diggers, and I can outrun you too. You can, can you? growled the bear. We'll see about that and trotted as fast as his legs could carry him after Johnny Cake, who never stopped to look behind him. Before long the bear was left so far behind that he saw he might as well give up the hunt first as last, so he stretched himself out by the roadside to rest. On went Johnny Cake, and by and by he came to a wolf. The wolf said, "'Where are ye going, Johnny Cake?' he said. I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and I can outrun you too. You can, can ye? snarled the wolf. We'll see about that. And he set into a gallop after Johnny Cake, who went on and on so fast that the wolf too saw there was no hope of overtaking him and he too lay down to rest. On went Johnny Cake and by and by he came to a fox that lay quietly in a corner of the fence. The fox called out in a sharp voice, but without getting up. "'Where are you going, Johnny Cake?' he said. "'I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers, a bear and a wolf, and I can outrun you too!' The fox said, "'Can't quite hear you, Johnny Cake.' Won't you come a little closer? Turning his head a little to one side. Johnny Cake stopped his race for the first time and went a little closer and called out in a very loud voice, I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too. Can't quite hear you. Won't you come a little closer? said the fox in a feeble voice, as he stretched out his neck towards Johnny Cake and put one paw behind his ear. 
Johnny Cake came up close, and leaning towards the fox, screamed out, I've outrun an old man and an old woman and a little boy and two well diggers and two ditch diggers and a bear and a wolf and I can outrun you too. You can, can you, yelped the fox, and he snapped up the johnny cake in his sharp teeth in the twinkling of an eye. End of chapter 28 Johnny Cake